Hello everyone, my name is Valentin Toby. I'm a strategic security architect at F5, and today I'm going to talk about integrating the F5 distributed cloud WAP policy in a CI CD pipeline. First of all, let's discuss why would we want to automate the deployment of F5 distributed cloud WAP policy. As many of you know, F5's web application firewall products such as the big IP based advanced WAF, Nginx AppProtect WAF or Distributed Cloud WAF all share the same WAF engine, packaged in different ways to fit specific needs. For example, Distributed Cloud WAF is a cloud-based offering built on our WAF engine, perfect for protecting applications at the edge and focused on ease of onboarding and simple configuration. On the other hand, Nginx AppProtect WAF it's a very small footprint, highly scalable, very high performance form factor for the same WAF engine. As such, it is perfect fit for modern applications deployed in containerized environments such as Kubernetes and can integrate with all the modern app development tools. Integrating Nginx AppProtect WAF in CICD pipelines is a well-known use case. And there are many demos out there showing how to do that, so I will only talk about it at a high level. Let's say we are using Nginx AppProtect WAF to protect a web application or an API endpoint, and we wish to build a WAF policy which is customized for our protected application, maybe ingesting the open API spec, for example. The resulted WAF policy will be very tightly integrated with the application. Whenever the application code changes and the CACD pipeline gets triggered, you have the option to update and push the modified WAF policy to the Nginx AppProtect WAF. So we are talking about a WAF policy that is under the control of the group that develops and maintains that particular application. What happens if the parent organization needs to implement a broad WAF policy to be applied to all of the different groups, or maybe there's a need to block all the common attacks before the client request reach the application-specific WAF, eliminating the noise and saving resources there? In this case, it makes sense to have a WAF controlling the traffic at the edge, filtering the most common attacks before the application-specific WAF can apply a very fine, detailed policy to eliminate the most complex attack. Here we can see how distributed cloud WAP and Nginx AppProtect WAF can complement each other and benefit from each other's strength. Now, if this organization already decided to manage its security policies as code, uh, like in the case of Nginx AppProtect, the next question is, can we do the same with distributed cloud WAP and automate its deployment with a CI/CD pipeline? As you, have, as you may have guessed, the answer is yes. And I'm going to briefly show you how the configuration looks like. I will also link this video to a DevCentral article where you can check the code at length. So don't worry if you can't see every small detail. What's important here is the principle. We will use F5 Distributed Cloud Terraform Provider. And for the most basic example, you will have a pool of workloads to be protected, an HTTP load balancer front-ending the pool, and an app firewall policy attached to the load balancer. This is how it looks when everything gets assembled together. We have the WAF policy, in this case, I've used the default settings, which should work for a majority of cases. Then we have two pools needed because in my case, I'm protecting a demo application, Arcadia Finance, that has both web application and the API endpoints. And this is the HTTP load balancer that ties it all together using routes to direct traffic to either of the two pools and referencing the app firewall object created before. Since this is a Terraform file, it can be deployed very easily from a CSD pipeline. In this case, I'm using GitLab and a GitLab CI YAML file. In my case, I split the configuration between the infrastructure-specific and application-specific objects, such as load balancer, spool, and WAF policies, but the same result can be achieved in many different ways. For more information about this setup, you can check out the DevCentral article linked to this video. That's all I had for today. Thank you for watching.